Let's talk diesel for a bit. You see, you would very rarely see a diesel engine being praised by an enthusiast. That's because they're so unrefined and dirty. That's because their fuel combustion in the chamber is very, very dirty, which doesn't make it that much fun. This dirty fuel has got a little trick up its sleeve. You see, in a petrol engine, the fuel and air is mixed, compressed, and then combusted. In a diesel engine, the air is compressed first, and then the fuel is added to the pressurized air to create high amounts of pressure in really low revs. Yup, dollops of torque. Now, as you can imagine, torque is quite useful while carrying a big load or tugging a heavy trailer. However, what if you want to translate all that torque into speed? Well, you get this. This is a stage three LoRa TDI 2 liter. And it doesn't make a very impressive uh, power figure. It makes 205 bhp, little less than our LoRa. But it makes a whopping 470 newton meters of torque. Yup, this is as cool as a sleeper car you're ever going to get. Only a keen sharp eye can ever figure out that something's been done to it. Like these out of spec Skoda Octavia rims from a modern Octavia or the slightly lower stance because of the Euro spec springs and shocks. Under the hood, again, a keen eye can only figure out what's really going on. You see behind the engine, there is a CR170 turbo, which helps in shoving in all the air and creating much more pressure in the combustion chamber. But that's not all the magic and all the magic is not even visible. The boys from Mechanics have put in an upgraded ECU as well. In fact, they have imported a Golf GTD's ECU, which is essentially a Golf GTI but with a diesel engine. And this ECU helps the guys from E-Tuners who have designed the remap run a much more aggressive tune so as to make the car, of course, much faster. In the interior there as well, the car has been spruced up and modernized just to perfection and very tastefully in my opinion. You've got an RCD340 head unit with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto, which is a 2021 piece, nice and modern. You've also got a retrofitted steering wheel from a VRS. So you've got paddle shifters and you've got controls on your steering. You also get uh, auto dimming headlights and rain sensing wipers. Mind you, this is a 2014 car, which all of this stuff was quite unheard of when the car came out. Before I launch this car, you guys should check out throttlestore.co.in. You guys can get some sick merch and a really nice Diwali sale is going on where you guys can get at least 50% off. So on the move in a stage 3 car, I should give you a little disclaimer. Now, if you are inspired by this build and you feel like doing it to your own Laura, your own Octavia, I need to tell you that it's very expensive. But if you are willing to overlook things like, oh, you get 8 liters, or 8 kilometers a liter in the city and Euro Springs are quite bouncy in the city. If you are willing to overlook everything, and also the emissions, uh, which is quite bad. You will be having a lot of fun just hooning this thing because it wheel spins in half throttle on D without even putting it in sport. The amount of torque that this engine pushes out is enough for this DSG to be like, I, I'm out, this is not happening. So in second gear, sometimes it just says, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I'm not gonna take this. So it just revs its out all the way till second gear and then tells you okay you're done but apart from that if the engine is not spinning its out and you continue driving it simply with a slightly heavy foot you will be enjoying 
470 Newton meters of torque right at around 16 1700 rpm however most of the skoda characteristics and discrepancies are still present in the car the brakes feel slightly numb even though they've been slightly upgraded and the steering is quite dead and if you ever think that oh this is enough space you will be wrong because this is quite a big car and alora is always has always had a an air of boat to it and now this low low grunty torque that comes super early makes it feel like a road sailor which if you're going to be touring a lot this can really really help you because i'm pretty sure this can do 160 180 on the fly no problem on the fly the suspension is quite good at speed but in slow traffic you are going to feel that the shocks are quite bumpy and quite bouncy however it does not trouble you that much if you are going to be doing higher speeds and driving on smoother roads the pedal shifters though is an upgrade that all dsg owners need to get back products aren't the sharpest tools in the shed and that makes them quite i like a better word boring to drive but these pedals add an element of involvement when you drive this gearbox and gives you good amounts of control over the car but nothing and i mean absolutely nothing comes close to the absolute terror that goes through your body once this car hooks up and 470 newton meters of torque hurtles you down the road and the best part about this build is just how unassuming it is this is the definition of what a sleeper car is it has nothing unnecessary stuck on the outside and all of the upgrades are oem plus so everything works as intended and looks factory in fact this is so sleeper it doesn't even have a loud exhaust to make a racket while going down the road the only thing you will see is a puff of black smoke and the lora you were racing half a kilometer ahead of you thank you so much for watching please like the video and if you have any friends with a lora you can send them over the video and let them know that this is possible with it thank you so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next one McRae on the inside going to take it and Senna sprints away Senna is trying